okay so welcome yeah. welcome to the class so now today's topic is actually sets relations and mapping so you know the concept of set is basic in all branches of mathematics actually in view of the importance of set theory we present here a brief account of it okay we take yeah. an entirely naive and institutive view of a set okay mm -hmm. so yeah. we'll give you a set is a well defined collection actually of distinct well. let me first define the sets so in this uh, lecture today we'll discuss about the basic concepts subsets yep. algebraic mm -hmm. operations on sets so what what is the thing going on actually whenever you learn a new subject you have to learn the algebraic yep. operations on the subjects right what yep. is the addition what is the subtraction multiplication etc and also mm -hmm. we'll talk about cartesian product of sets after that we'll talk about relation on set and uh, also the mapping okay okay yeah so wait just wait uh, okay so the uh, actually the theory of set was developed by george Ka cantor he was a german mathematician he was a german mathematician okay. yeah. the basic concept in the last part of the 19th century okay mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, another logician was there so he was logician analyzed the theory in later years and built the theory of an axiomatic foundation so cantor was the mm -hmm. main founder of this concept he developed oh. so according to him the definition of set is given by you look at the definition on the screen that mm -hmm. uh, a set is a well defined collection of distinct objects a well defined okay. collection yeah. of distinct objects of our perception mm -hmm. or of our thought to be conceived mm -hmm. as a whole to be conceived okay. as a whole okay so yeah. now the yeah. now i will i will describe the terms well defined what do you mean by well defined and what do you mean by collection of distinct objects collection of objects that means yeah. there are three points actually one is that a set s is a collection of objects which is to be regarded yeah. as a single entity i will give you the examples and distinct yeah. objects means if there are so many elements are same then you have to take on only consider the single element that is that those elements are distinct you have to consider the distinct elements only okay okay and number yeah. three the set is said to be well defined well defined means mm -hmm. suppose i'm giving you example on that uh okay it's better to open that uh, just give me a uh, couple of seconds to open that thing yeah. over there. Yeah. This is fine, now. Huh? Yeah. So, I uh, write your school name also, so that this is made for you. Oh, oh yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. So look okay. at that, the I definition. So I am mentioning three terms, well-defined, collection of distinct objects, and it is conceived as a whole. So let me, uh, yeah. let me give you a simple example on that. Suppose the first example, the collection of vowels in English alphabet. So that is given yeah. by V v equal to what will be the uh, your elements a e i o u right absolutely correct mm -hmm. so these are the elements of v so you look at that as name uh, you can uh, write capital letters to denote the sets 
you have to write the capital okay. letters to yeah. denote the sets and its elements yeah. are denoted by small letters you can use small letters mm -hmm. to denote the uh, elements of the set okay okay and yeah. so this is a set what does it define mm -hmm. what does it define it defines the vowels of the english alphabet so it is well defined mm -hmm. Either an yeah. element belongs to the set or doesn't belongs to. So let me uh, put some notations on that. Let me add a page, extra page. All the things will be uh, supplied to you. I will email to okay. you. Put your email ID after the class in my yeah. WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Okay. So look at that. What I've written over there? Vowels. A mm -hmm. E i o and u right okay yeah now you see yeah. i am writing a a is an element of this set the name of the set is v and it denotes v, yeah. what is the definition it denotes the vowels english alphabet yeah. so a belongs to v you look at that a belongs to v yeah a belongs yeah but you see b so this is the belongs to symbol do you know this symbol B belongs uh, yeah I know, yeah. Yeah. So we can say B doesn't belongs to V. B is an element, but that does not belongs to V. You can't find any B yeah. inside the V, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you this is the thing. This is well defined. So when I a set is well defined, meaning that if A is be a set and A be an object, then either A is definitely in S or A is definitely not in S. Am I clear? Yeah. Smile? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So that was the meaning of the well defined. And you see it is a collection of distinct. All the elements are distinct. No repetition was there. No repetition was there. This is you. This is you. Last one is you. Yep. Maybe I am writing with the mouse. Some letters are not clear to you. Oh. You just tell me. So E, you. So no, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the alphabets are distinct. Right? All the alphabets yes, are distinct. Yep. Okay. So next, let me give you more on that. Yeah. So next example, this is example one. Next example is that collection of all football clubs in England is a set. So you, uh, do yeah. you watch football matches? Do you love yeah. football? Yeah. Yeah, I love football. Yeah. So, so yeah. I actually, yeah. I I do. I also love food. Do? Yes. <laughs> so you you yeah. know the clubs of uh, I I like Messi. My favorite player is Messi. Who is your favorite player? Oh Messi. Uh, Ronaldo. <laughs> yes, yes. The next one is yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo. Actually, the whole yeah. world is divided into two groups. One is the Messi fan, and the other peoples are Ronaldo so and actually two players. Yeah, Ronaldo, but yeah. you know that uh, Ronaldo is better than Messi. <laughs> yeah. Far better than Messi. But I love Argentina. Actually, I was a fan of Maradona. Oh, Maradona. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a genius. He's a genius. God of football. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that is why I love actually his country. That is why I love Messi. But Messi is failed to give some cups to the Argentina. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he's right, yeah. even he is unsuccessful in the last Barcelona championship and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's but true. success rate is that's very true. high for Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, CR7. Yeah. And he's yeah, seven, such a yeah. fit, such a fit footballer. I never seen yeah, such is. a fit footballer like him. Yeah, and he's and he's old. He's like thirty-four. Yes. Old, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I never seen like a uh, footballer like him. Never seen. Uh, yeah, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. So let's come to the topic uh, once again. So you look at that. Uh, so your football clubs of England can be Manchester United. Let me write. Liverpool, yeah. Yeah, Liverpool, oh, yeah. Chelsea, Tottenham, Everton FC, yeah. Arsenal, Aston. Yeah. So let me oh, write. Yeah. So I'm writing M for the Manchester United. I'm writing E yeah. for the Everton. And you have said Chelsea yeah. for the C, and I'm writing yeah. Tottenham T, and your Manchester yeah. City, 
Manchester City. But look at their two M's are coming. We have to distinguish them. So I'm writing Manchester United as M U suffix and M C oh, for yeah. the Manchester City, right? So oh, yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. it is. It is. It is said in the definition that distinct objects. So we have to distinguish between them, right? Got it. Yeah. Got my point. Got it. Yeah. So uh, this is MC, and uh, look at that. Uh, you have a Liverpool. You said Liverpool. You have Aston Villa. Yeah. And you have a Arsenal. Oh, yeah. So you have to again. You have a same letter. So let me write a yeah, suffix yeah. over there to distinguish, and so on. Okay, there are so many clubs. Yeah. So this also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a set. So this is a set. So this is a set of football clubs of the England. Yeah. All famous football clubs of the in in England. And in Dubai yeah. this year the IPL tournament will be there, right? Mm -hmm. IPL. Yeah. You know, Indian Premier League, the cricket tournament. Oh, Indian, yeah. I don't know the teams, but I heard of the yeah. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Indian so there are so many teams. You can put the teams inside the bracket, so it will be a single entity, and you have to put the all have to be distinct, and you have to that have to be well defined. What is the definition? In the previous case, the definition was all our football clubs. In the second case, all the yeah. definition will be cricket clubs. Cricket clubs. Yeah. Is it clear now? The definition yeah. is clear to you. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing is that. Let me give you more interesting. Actually, the example. This is the real world application. Actually, so let me give you more uh, more examples. Uh, look at the, the third example. Yeah. Third example the, is the collection of first ten countries. Those having most mm -hmm. number of active COVID nineteen cases is a set. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you know that okay. this pandemic situation, whole world is talking about COVID nineteen, right? Yeah. So uh, we we people are uh, actually we are also we have to talk about that thing also. So you, we have a set. What is the set? The set country uh, set is having ten countries. First ten countries. You know who is the top? Yeah. Uh, I think it's the U.S. Right? The US yes, country. U.S. Next, yeah. second, India. Um, oh, it's second oh, is oh, India. Oh, India. Thought, uh, yes. And then Brazil. Brazil is third. Third, yeah. And Russia and is then, fourth. Russia. And then yeah. is Peru. And this mm -hmm. is then is Colombia. I'm just uh, I'm just writing the names because you can search the names uh, in uh, Waldometer. There is a website you can check it. Oh. You can check check it. Oh, I'm yeah. I'm writing the website name, Waldometer. Oh, okay. Waldometer. Oh, okay. That will give you all the details. Number okay, of active yeah. cases, yeah. deaths, recovery, everything, every information you can get, right? Yeah. So you have a. Uh, so yeah. I'm talking about these are the numbers, and I'm writing the ten city, uh, ten countries. I remember ten countries: Mexico, South Africa, Spain, and the tenth one is Argentina. Argentina. Yeah. So I'm writing their initials actually. I'm writing their initial alphabet: USA, initial, India. Yeah. Brazil, uh, Russia, Peru, Colombia, Mexico, South Africa, Spain, Argentina. Got it, my and dear? Two S. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, Ismail. So, so, yeah. So because there's two S, you have to distinguish. Yes. So yeah. South, tell me. Yeah. South. So Spain will be S P. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. And. South uh, Africa will be S A. Yes. S F or S A. No problem. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. So that is the concept actually. So I hope with these examples your concept is clear about set. What is actually the set? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. And next, you can form the collection of cricketers in the world. The fourth one, who were out for ninety nine runs in a test match as a set, is a set. Oh. So there are so many players in the world, whole world, that th th those got out at ninety nine runs. They cannot make the centuries. Oh okay. Oh during the century. 
yeah there oh. uh, you can say there are pakistani players also there are indian players also new zealand england australia and south africa uh, there are a lot of and ireland is also playing cricket and you know afghanistan recently is also playing cricket and oh, yeah, your yeah. Yeah, I, i think abu dhabi actually saudi arabia has a cricket team also oh wow sorry oh yeah sorry yeah got it oh. yeah okay next yeah. next fifth example fifth example is z uh, x z is a set of integers we denote set of integers by x as z it's a math yeah. bib z bold z writing style is different actually writing yeah. style is different and you look at that the uh, i am writing here let me write here let me write here so i am writing z equal to x such that x is an integer okay yeah so there is a writing difference you know the previous examples i have written with a comma yeah yes but here i have write, written like this x the elements of z are x the elements of z are x where such that x is an integer i am writing the property here what type of elements okay. of z x is an integer so this is a writing okay. style okay. so there are actually two writing styles one yeah. is the roster form and another one is called set builder form set mm -hmm. build sorry set builder form set builder form okay so there are two yeah, things okay. so in the previous case this one the number 1 uh, vowels football clubs uh, ipl tournament and the covid 19 countries ranking countries these are all examples of roster form have you understood oh, okay yes i have yeah i understood i and z in the next case z the x set x is an integer it's a self set builder form this type of oh, notations oh, okay. are called set builder forms that means x no, no need to write this all the elements you are writing so many elements it may be infinite you cannot write all the elements inside the second bracket so in that case we can oh, use okay. some properties so it mm. is a more compact representation of the set it is a more okay. compact representation of the set right okay yeah yes have you understood ismail yes i have understood yeah okay so these are all next i will talk about set of natural numbers 1 2 3 4 etc you know that natural number starts from or one and it goes on right yeah. ismail natural numbers yeah. yes do you know rational numbers ismail can you tell me what are the rational numbers uh so rational number is like 1 out of 2 1 out of 4 right yes Or so let me write the rational numbers can you see it's a rational numbers are denoted by q and yeah q yeah. q x x its elements are x what is the type of x? x x is a type x is a rational number x is of the form of the form yeah. of the form i am writing it p by q right where p yeah. q are yeah. integers where q should not be zero where p q are integers prime to each other right yeah p q are integers prime to each other isn't it mm -hmm. yeah yes it is okay real. so this is the rational number and what is what about your real numbers what about your real numbers uh, okay real number is it um anything so minus 2 to minus 3 uh, until is it 1 2 3 also including zero uh okay let me draw another let me take another page for you Yeah. Can you see? I am drawing one line. 
this is your origin can you tell me yes. where what is the lower bound uh, what is the lower limit of the real number and what is the upper limit of the real number this is a number line minus infinity minus yeah. infinity until infinity yes absolutely correct you are absolutely yes, correct numbers. yes all numbers that means you are talking yeah. about a huge number that contains all integers rational real uh, integers rational irrational all the things are there right yeah. so yeah. if i draw the region of the real number so, so let me write the real numbers first so what is r r r contains x so what is the property property is x is a real number so this is also mm -hmm. set builder notation this is also okay. set builder notation right so let me show you yeah. let me show you uh, this is your this is your real number this entire circle is your real number so it contains the rational numbers look at that it contains yeah. the rational number rational number will be inside this and inside the rational numbers okay. you have integers mm -hmm. yeah you have integers inside the rational number and also real numbers contain the irrational numbers also yeah irrational yeah. irrational means root irrational. Two, root 2 root 3 root 5 oh, okay root 2 this is an irrational number yeah. you know that so so the numbers that so the numbers with the decimal that goes yes continuously, like continues yes 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 non terminating yeah. okay. yeah. Okay. So, uh, do you know the story about the irrational number? Why the name is irrational number? Irrational. No, I never heard the story. No. Okay, I am telling you the story. Have you heard the name of the Archimedes? Uh, 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 Pythagoras. Sorry, I am talking about Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Yes. Yeah. Do you know? A have square you? plus B square equals C square. Yes. So it's perpendicular square. I am writing that triangle only. Base square equal to hypotenuse square. So, in Pythagoras actually had a school in Europe that is called Pythagorean school. Pythagorean okay, school. Yeah. It was a famous school in Europe. And mm -hmm. uh, there are so many students just like you are uh, studying in some institution. So, there are some people uh, studying in Pythagorean school. They are learning mathematics as well as some magic, magician, Mag yeah. magical game. Uh, in these days, people are using software to play games. But in those days, they are using magic magic tricks. They want to learn yeah. some magical tricks. They have some black magic also. You know, there are the people have some superstitions inside them. Oh, so oh. they they yeah. believe on this on the superstitions. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So that type of things yeah. was going on. Now one day, he's one of the student. I forgot his name. I will let you know his name. Uh, one day one student found that this theory is not well actually ho all over the Europe all throughout the Europe believe that yeah. that all numbers are rational numbers oh. throughout the Europe yeah. they believe that all the oh. numbers are rational numbers and it is measurable they can measure the numbers they can mm. measure the numbers mm. but one day one yeah. student found that if your p is equal to 1 perpendicular equal to 1 and base equal to 1 what would be, what would be the value of hypotenuse so it should be um, so 1 squared uh, plus 1 squared equals h squared so it will be 1 um, so h square is 2 right so it is not yeah. a rational number right you yeah, can't so the no. student found that the student found that he can't measure this with the scale mm. and but all over the euro people be, did uh, people believe that all the numbers are rational number and he suddenly he uh, draw the attention of pythagoras he talked with as uh, pythagoras about this thing and pythagoras surprised oh. with his invention but Pythagoras was yeah. so f uh, actually scared about this because if this information came to the people, people won't believe Pythagoras. Mm. Oh, so, yeah. your, uh, so your school will not run in that case 
that people will uh, misguided by the pythagoras people will believe that pythagoras misguided us no so uh, that is why no, i did yeah that is why that information did not did not came to the people of uh, uh, europe yeah oh, okay so, so even, right? yes so what the people of pythagorean school did na they just buried the student kill that student throwing stones and oh. buried him oh okay oh okay oh yeah but oh, so, yeah, so the, the, yeah. yes that is why yeah. they were not rational actually that is why the number All is right. called irrational after so many yeah. years they they actually taken uh, this consideration that there are irrational numbers those are not rational that is why the name of the number is irrational it is a real story yeah. behind the name of yeah. the irrational oh, yeah. got it wow. yeah i got it yeah okay so that was the story about beautiful story about irrational numbers okay so uh, yeah. uh so i was talking about these numbers and all that also some examples so next i will move on so yeah. let me give you more on that i will give you more ideas on that obviously uh, today is the first class as day by day we progress i will give you more and more details and all the soft copies will be emailed to you all the things okay. these all calculation these all worksheets will be provided to you ismail nothing to copy thank you yeah and also i will give you some assignment you have to submit the assignment also okay okay no problem yeah next i will define uh, some important uh, concept about sets so next i will define subsets define subsets okay. uh, you look at that yeah. uh, subsets let a and b be two sets okay just i am describing that a and b yeah. b2 sets if x belongs to a implies this yeah. no, this notation is implies notation right this notation implies, yeah. yeah this notation is implies notation so if x belongs to a implies x belongs to b then a is said to be a subset of b that means mm -hmm. each element of a is an element of b Mm -hmm. so let me show okay. you with one example suppose a yeah. is 1 2 3 etc up to 10 you have a 10 elements inside yeah. a and b is the set yeah. suppose i am taking the even numbers mm -hmm. yeah right you see each element of b is a element of a so 2 belongs to b implies 2 belongs to a right ismail yes yeah. again if i write 4 belongs to b implies 4 belongs to a and 6 yeah. belongs to b implies 6 belongs to a yes and 8 belongs to b implies 8 belongs to a and lastly 10 belongs to b implies 10 belongs to a have you got that yes i got it yeah. so that means yeah. the only conclusion is that b is a subset of a but if i say 1 belongs to 1 belongs to a doesn't imply doesn't imply one belongs to b so a is not a yeah. subset of b but b is a subset of a b is a subset yeah. of a okay. so that is why every element of b is an element of a have you okay. understood that concept yeah i understood yeah so we write like this you can write uh okay you can write this this is your a set and this is your b so look at that all the elements of this is your b b that means we can say b is contained in a in other languages you can say b is contained in a a contains b 
or B yeah. is a subset of A. So this is the symbolic representation. A, oh, mm. in this case, you have A is a subset of B, but I gave you an example where B is a subset of A. Yes. I gave you an example where B is a subset of A, but here, according to the definition, A is a subset of B, or A is contained mm -hmm. in B. Yeah. Right, okay. Ismail? Yeah. Yeah. And if I write B like this, this is called superset of A. Then B is a superset of A. If A what is does that mean? Superset. That means here, here, here B is a subset of A. And if we if we yeah. reverse the symbol, so if we write A like this, it yeah. means that A is a superset of B. Okay. That means B is inside A. B is contained oh, okay. in A. Just writing in a different language, different form. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay? Yeah. I think this yeah. subset is clear to you? Yeah, it's clear, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's move on. Some more concepts for you. I will give you the concept of null set. I will give you the concept yeah. of finite and infinite set. Let me give you the concept of null set first. Yeah. So I am adding one page here. So with the presentation, you have the additional pages also in the sheets. Okay. Yeah. So I am explaining null sets. It is null set or you can say empty set. Mm. Or you can say void. It is null or empty or void. There are so many languages you can use. So let me give you one example yeah. for that. Suppose mm -hmm. uh, n. n is a set x such that mm -hmm. x is an integer. That means elements of n are x such that x, yeah. x is an integer. Yeah. In, in 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 is an integer in one less than x less than two. Do you know the symbols less than less than equal to? Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Okay. So can you tell me what are the elements of this n? So um uh it's a, it's between one and two. Yes, in between uh, 1 and 2. Yeah. So it can be 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1 1.5. But those are not integers. Oh, oh, integers. Um, uh, then no uh, integer. You can't actually, find any integer. No, no integer. Yes. Yeah. So you, if, if your interval is this one, you are writing close. Okay, I'm writing open bracket. 1 to 2. So in between 1 to 2, there is no integer. You can have rational number, irrational number. How many numbers between yeah. 1 to 2? Can you count the numbers? It, it's infinite, right? Yes. Or obviously. Yeah. It is uncountable. Yeah, it is uncountable. Yeah. So yeah. this is infinity. So there are integers. Yeah. There is no integers between 1 to 2 this type of set is called null set or empty set and that is denoted by phi phi is a greek yeah, symbol right. Right. okay phi uh, is a greek letter just like alpha beta gamma delta yeah oh, okay oh it's, uh, it's like delta okay yes this is phi you have alpha these are all greek alphabets right alpha beta gamma delta yeah. these are all greek mm -hmm. alphabets so this is phi another symbol used for uh, null set to denote the null set. So, uh, uh, have you understood the concept of null set? Yes, I have. Yeah. Okay. So that means null set means there is no element. Null set means there is yeah. no element. No element. Okay. No element. Yeah. Suppose so in you your do that symbol. That yes. Did, right. Yes. The, yeah. If there is any symbol like this, this is represents the null set. Right, dear. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 
now uh, another thing I will give you uh, okay so it is null sets so let me talk about finite set and infinite set next what do you mean by finite is my finite um, uh, fi finite is um, so it's like it, it's from that means finite. you can it's count finite, like, which can be countable yeah. which those oh, are yeah, countable it can count it can be counted right finite. right so look at that I gave you the example so many examples I gave you you just go uh, scroll up you will find this vowels yeah. there are five elements so this is a finite set this football yeah. clubs there are 50 or 100 clubs maybe so this uh, yeah, 100 so clubs finite. are uh, countable so these are found finite and yeah. IPL cricket clubs these are also finite right finite, yeah. and the countries yeah. this is also finite yeah. and what about say x is an yeah. integer z no they're infinite yes this is infinite set yeah. what about yeah. set of rational yeah. numbers infinite set yeah. what about set yeah. of real numbers obviously it is infinite if it is a subset is infinite it, it should be infinite yeah. You look at that real number is a huge say it's a it contains all the subsets Z rational irrational all these things are yeah. there. So if it is a yeah. it is it contains natural numbers also it contains natural number also. So all these are infinite if the subsets are infinite that set itself will be infinite. So that is the concept of yeah. finite set and infinite set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now I will let you know about uh, countable infinite and uncountable infinite. Infinite again two types actually. This is very important concept. Whenever I will do the probability with you, yeah. I will discuss with you probability. You have a in your syllabus the probability. So I will let you know once again the infinite will be two types. One is a countable infinite. Mm -hmm. Is it count countable infinite? Can it be like, uh, like uh, for example, a geometric, uh, geometric series that goes infinite, or like? Yes, yes, series. yes, yes, yes. Yes, correct you are, okay. and yeah. uh, uncountably infinite. sorry finite right okay 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 yeah yes, sir. yeah yeah so what i'm talking uh, about count uh, you gave a beautiful yeah. example you gave a beautiful example what is that example geometric infinite geometric series what are the terms of the infinite geometric series a a r a r yeah. square and so on yeah. Yeah. It goes on. This is countably infinite series. Why? Because you can associate it with the natural numbers. This is first term. This is second term. This is third term. And so on. You can write the nth term. You can write the thousand term. You can write the million term. And so on. So this is called yeah. countably infinite. Why? Because there is a one to one correspondence between the with the natural numbers one to one correspondence with the natural numbers if there is any yeah. sequence or series or any number in the any set those having a association with the uh, natural number one to one correspondence yeah. with the natural number those are countably yeah. infinite yeah okay. that makes sense yes it makes sense yeah so what about uncountably infinite then oh i have no idea i don't know uh, any interval any interval just you talk about the interval one to two this is uncountable oh okay ah yeah yeah okay uh, got it yeah it's uncountable got it yeah. it's a beautiful yeah, concept yeah. 
isn't it it's a beautiful concept it is yeah it is so any interval you are talking about suppose you are talking about life length of an electric bulb so its life length you cannot count mm. yeah you cannot yeah, count yeah, that yeah. it's a interval mm. it's a interval yeah. it can be zero it can be 100 hours yeah so that is uncountable But or any number uh, any number between any interval is uncountable numbers numbers between 0 to 1 1 to 2 whatever you take any interval that is uncountable yeah got it my dear yeah. students yeah so that is the concept of finite and infinite set let me go to the cardinal number if you are talking about a finite set we have to talk about a cardinal number of a finite set what is a cardinal number cardinal number means the number of uh, uh elements in the set uh, the number of elements in the set yeah okay if you are talking about a finite set uh you have a 10 elements so what is the uh, cardinal number of this set if you are talking about a cardinal number what is the cardinal number of vowels yeah um so, so the cardinal number is 5 right Or right right the number of elements in the set if you are talking about the cardinal number oh. of the football clubs there will be n equal to 50 like this yeah. so sure. cardinal number is actually represent the uh, number of elements in the set the number yeah. number of element in the set actually Okay. Yeah. It's a okay. natural number. Yeah. That means how many pr uh, numbers you are listing, the numbers it is listed in that way. Okay. And yeah. ca you can't you can't define the cardinal number in infinite set. There is no cardinal cardinal number concept for the inter infinite set. There is nothing. Yeah. Okay. Suppose you are talking about set of all points on a plane. Can you count the points on a plane? The points. So points. The. Uh, sorry. Points on a plane. Um. A points like, for example, I don't, I didn't understand. So points like. Okay, okay, okay. I am talking about a plane. Let me, let me draw. Let me draw. Let me draw. Suppose the. Yeah, can you like see the? Point. Can you see the yeah. square? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, can you tell me how many points inside the square points Oh I mean uh can uh no right or can you No infinite um, set There are so many oh, dots infinite infinite you these yeah. are the points Oh infinite oh yeah yeah Infinite oh, Okay Right so this infinite. is a this is another example yeah. of infinite set So set up all lines in a plane set of all lines in a plane these are also infinite oh, set of yeah. all points oh, on a plane on your page suppose you are opening a exercise book in that page yeah. you can't count the points count the lines etc got it my dear oh, okay yeah yeah oh, okay so this is about fantastic concept of uh infinite and countably infinite uncountably infinite all this let me talk about yeah. equivalent sets equivalent sets two sets are equivalent yeah. if their cardinal number are same <laughs> if their cardinal number are same that means uh equ let me talk about equivalent set equivalent sets are suppose uh, i am talking about a and b to non empty sets so if a of a is the cardinal number of a and a of b is the cardinal number of b so e a of a equal to a of b then it is called yeah. equivalent sets okay yeah equivalent got it so let me give you yeah. example let me give you examples suppose you are talking about a e i o u yeah and suppose i am giving you 1 2 3 4 5 yeah are they equivalent um 
yes, they are. They are equivalent, right? Yes. Uh, set. Yeah. Correct. Equivalent set. Very good. Because we have to consider the number of elements only. What are yeah. the elements? I don't know. But you have to consider the equivalent set. Now, what about equal sets? What about equal sets? Then, equivalent and equal are not two similar words. Oh, they're not. Okay. So, what about equal oh. sets? When two sets will be equal? When? When, when? when the numbers are the same too? Like the yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Correct. Beautiful. Yeah. So, uh, the yeah. concept of equal sets is that the mathematical concept. Mm -hmm. If I talk about the mathematical concept, so the mathematical concept yeah. is that if A is a subset of B, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset yeah. of B, A. Oh, okay. And B is a subset of A. Okay. That means A is contained in B as well as B is contained in A. That means every element A is an element of B. Every element of B is an element of A. Okay. Yeah. This and is the concept yeah. of equal sets. Mm. Okay. So, equivalent and equal, these are two different concepts. Yeah. Okay. Got, got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. So, uh, next, let me explain. Yeah, what is universal set? Let me explain. Universal set. Yes. Yeah. What do you mean by the word universe? Mm, I heard about it, but I never, un like, I never, no, like, I never, like, knew what, what it was. Yes. Universe means this, we are, we are, you know, this Milky Way galaxy, the seven galaxies, and the planets, the stars, all the things are the universe. Oh, okay. Oh, so everything. 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 Oh, okay. So, we are the part of the uh, Milky Way galaxy, right? Yeah. The Milky Our Way. planet is a part of the U, uh, Milky Way galaxy. So, in this galaxy, yeah. actually, million, million stars that are not discovered. Yeah. Millions, yeah. Ma millions and millions. So, this is the concept. So, so in the set, actually, what is the universal set? That means... Uh, in any set discussion, any set discussion, if you are talking about uh, that all happen, all the sets that contains all the sets under consideration, it is a superset of each of the given set. That is, we are talking about sets mm -hmm. inside a superset. That set yeah. is oh, called okay. a universal set. Yeah. In any set discussion, okay. in any set discussion, a set that contains all sets in a given context is called the universal set. For, uh, can, can you give me an example? Yes, an example definitely. Suppose you are talking about, suppose you are talking about, Suppose you are talking about real numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So real numbers so is a universal numbers. set, and inside this you have natural number. Yeah. Inside this you have natural number. Z set of integers contain the natural number. These are all subset of this real number set. So in yeah. this case, in this set discussion, your real number is the universal set. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, the, the real number will be the universal one, right? Yes. But suppose in a small problem, if you are talking about a small problem. So suppose S is the universal set that contains the numbers, natural numbers one to hundred. This is the universal yeah. set. And you, r if you write A, is the set of all odd numbers one, three, five, seven, etc. And yeah. if you write the all even numbers, 2, mm -hmm. 4, 6, 8, etc. These are all even numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So, these okay. are all 
inside this universal set so in this case your universal oh, okay. set is the natural numbers from 1 to 100 mm, okay I understood yeah understood yeah okay this worksheet will be with you don't worry A smile okay thank you yeah. recording yeah. as well as everyday lecture recording as well as the worksheets will be given to you okay. so that okay. you have a great idea of the concepts and everything will be with you great thank you yeah. next i will define power set power set look at that the seventh point is the power set so let power me set, explain yeah. power set yeah let me add one more page right there yeah so I will describe now power sets sorry power set okay let me give you a one example for that suppose a a is a set okay before that uh, do you remember the concept of subset Subset. Uh, yes, I think, yeah, subset. That was the concept of yeah. subset. So, can we say yeah. null set is a subset of every set? Um, null set would be subset. Uh, yeah, no. Um, there is no loss of generality. There is no loss of that. Suppose you, if you add 0 with any number, there is no effect of that. So, yeah. null set is so a subset of every set. Uh, two statements, I okay. am uh, writing two statements over there. Null set yeah. is a subset of every set. Right? Null yes. set is a subset of subset of every, every set. set. Number two, yeah. number two, Every yeah. set is a subset of itself. Every set is a subset of itself. That means we can say uh, phi is a subset of A and A is a subset of itself look mm. at that there is a equal to sign yeah there okay. is a equal, oh, to. Yeah, equal to yeah. it is called it can be include it can include or it can be equal oh okay so yeah, these okay. are the yeah. two concepts null set is a subset of every set every set is a subset of itself so these two okay. are called improper subset Okay. These yeah. are called improper subset. Mm -hmm. okay. Am I clear? Ismail? Yeah. Yeah. You got a beautiful name, Ismail. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Got a beautiful name. May Allah okay, bless you. your future. May Inshallah Allah you wish so all your dreams come true. Inshallah, yeah. thank you okay so this is your improper subset and all other subsets are called proper subset yeah all other improper subsets subset. are called only two improper subsets you have the phi and the set itself yeah okay okay now let yeah. me let me go on to the power set so let me give you one example let me consider the set of three elements only one two three mm -hmm. a is a yeah. set of three elements one two three let us form yeah, one, two, three, yeah. all the possible subsets of a let us form all the possible subsets of a so we can take mm -hmm. a single element one with the curly brackets if you put the curly mm -hmm. brackets that represents the set okay you can put oh. you can take single elements one two three 
you can take double elements two elements at a time that also form the subset one two two three three one yeah. and one two three because the set itself is a subset of every set and the null set yeah, tell and the null set. yeah so that was the process i will repeat once again uh, i am considering yeah. single element one two three they are forming the subsets i am considering yeah. two elements at a time one two two mm -hmm. three three one they are forming the subsets and i am considering uh, one two three because every set is a subset of itself and also considering yeah. null set so this can yes yes yeah yeah and uh, does, does the order matter for example can it what, three one can it be one three or no 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 it doesn't matter order cannot okay. be matter okay but when we are okay. doing permutation counting techniques mm -hmm. i will i will do you i i will do it that later on so in permutation okay. order matters okay okay yeah. good question yeah. good question smile so this is Thank the you, what yeah. what is the what is the what is the concept over there what you are doing in this case what you have done in this case actually you are collecting all the subsets of a all the subsets yeah uh, like all the numbers you can do all the sets you all can the do possibilities the all the subsets all the subsets okay. actually you are considering all yeah. the subsets including empty set as well as the set itself this is called the power set yeah. of a this is called the power set of a yeah. this is actually called the power set of a Got okay. it? Oh, oh is that, okay, so that's a power set. Got it, my dear? Yeah, I got it, yeah. So look at that. Now I will give you more interesting result to show. A, a set, and this is your power set. Yeah. I'm li I want to list something. So A set has N elements, and how many A set has, uh, sorry, A set has three elements, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What What is the number of elements in the power set? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The elements. Um, so not just the elements, right? So the numbers inside. Yes, these are the elements. If you write curly brackets, this will be itself an element. Yeah. So how many elements? So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. So that is the result eight. of two cube actually. Two cube. Yeah. So if you have four elements in the set, your power set must mm -hmm. have two to the power four elements, sixteen. So if yeah. you have five elements oh. in the set, your power set must have two to the power five, thirty-two elements, yes. and so yeah. on. If it contains n elements, what is the number of elements in power set? Is mile two to the power n? Right. That is the beautiful yeah. result. Have you got that? Yeah. I got it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. So these are the important concepts on sets: universal set, equal set, equivalent sets, power sets. So this is this is all seven things. Some more important concepts that's clear. If you have any yeah. doubt, any clarification. Uh, you can uh, inform me later on also you can go through the lecture okay next let's come yeah. to the most interesting part that we are waiting for actually whenever you have learned a new topic new subject in your early days in your childhood you have learned mathematics that means you are adding you are doing addition yeah. subtraction multiplication division right so now you are learning a new topic sets algebraic operations on sets let us let us do some addition subtraction like that okay so first algebraic operations so i will talk about now algebraic operations on sets 
so first algebraic operation is called union mm -hmm. first algebraic operation is called union of two sets union or join and that is denoted by a cup b this is union this is you can uh, say a cup b c u p cup yeah this is a union uh, symbol union. this is a union mm -hmm. symbol so this is represented like in a Venn diagram right yes yes you got it very good i will show you so mm, uh, this union is given by x such that x belongs to a or x belongs to b x belongs to a or x belongs to b so let me draw that region you said venn diagram absolutely correct you are so let me show you the union union is what x belongs to a or x belongs to b yes so let me draw the venn diagram this is invented by venn john venn john venn yeah john venn he was a uh, actually german uh, sorry sorry oh. he was he was british mathematician he was british oh, mathematician very, oh. And also there is one also one name was there that was Euler. So two people were there. Euler oh. yeah. and another one is Venn. Oh, Venn, yeah. So both the people were there. He was a Swiss mathematician, Euler. And this one is a British oh. mathematician, John Venn. Actually, oh, main okay. concept was given by Swiss mathematician Euler gave the idea actually oh. in the closed curve later on oh. when has actually uh, formulated that and gave the beautiful picture so this is also sometimes called well when Euler diagram or simply Venn diagram so let me dr uh, draw two sets in a circle like this is a set this is B set so x yeah. belongs to a or yeah. x belongs to b yeah. that means b. your region yeah. will be suppose those elements of a you shared those elements and also you yeah. shared those elements in b so the entire thing this mm -hmm. is called venn diagram and this is your a union b and this is your universal set the rectangular mm. yeah oh, okay yeah. got so got the, the whole thing with the outside of the box is the set the whole set yes yeah. this okay. inside this box is the universal set this whole thing is the universal set actually i am drawing a small portion of the universal set and inside that you have two subsets a and b and i am showing the union Oh yeah. Mm. Got it, Ismail? Got it. Yeah. yeah. So Got this it. is the Venn diagram. Let me give you example. Mathematical example. Suppose you uh, okay. Let me say the universal set is one, two, up to twenty. I am taking only twenty natural numbers. That is your universal set. And suppose your A set is 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 11, 13. Yeah. And your B set is 2, 4, 6. Yeah. 2, you 4, 6, yeah. uh, 9. And 12, 15, 17, 19. So, can you tell me so what is your A union B? So, uh, yeah, so, A union B will be 1, 2, 3, for all the numbers, right? All, to, all of them together. Yes. Right. Right, Ismail. 
so that is the meaning of that that means we can say either in a or in b or in both okay yeah union implies either in a or in b or in both have you got that okay. yeah got it okay so that is the meaning of your union let me complete this one yeah. okay next i shall got be it. talking about uh, okay next so this is the venn diagram as well as with a practical example yes so next i shall be talking about intersection or you can say it is a meet yeah so what is your intersection intersection means it contains those elements of those elements such that mm -hmm. x belongs to a and x belongs to b there is a and and yeah okay and yeah so let me draw with a venn diagram first to better understanding mm -hmm. again draw a rectangle the universal yeah, set yeah. so this is your universal set s this is your a set this is your b set can you tell me smile where is the universal set yeah it's going to be in the middle Yes. Oh, sorry. Universal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is the universal set. Can you tell me what is the intersection yeah. portion? Oh, yeah. So it's uh, uh, in between. So it's in the middle. The small. Yes. Yeah. Here. Just go through that. I'm sketching the diagram. Is it so? Yeah. Yeah. That's that's where it is. Yeah. That's so it. that the makes sense. A and B. Yes. So a that one, means yeah. your intersection is the only the common portion. It is the common portion. Yeah. Common portion. So can you tell me in this example? So a and B. Yes, that is a A intersection yeah. B. Right, Ismail. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what is the intersection of A and B in this case, in this problem? Two and um, and nine. Two yeah. and nine, and that's. It, I think it's, yeah, two, two and nine, right? That's it. Right, right, right. Absolutely correct you are. Absolutely correct you are. Two and nine. Yes, sir. Yeah. So that is the concept. So that was the concept of union and intersection. And you are learning the operations on sets. Let me give you more operations, more interesting operation. Do you find this subject interesting, Ismail? Yeah, I find it interesting, really interesting, yeah. I do. Okay. Feel always, always, Ismail, you feel free to interact with me. Don't worry, always. Yeah. yeah. You can, uh, <laughs> okay, you yeah. can share okay. anything, any problem in my WhatsApp. If I got time, I will okay. solve the problems any concept anything you always interact with me i will i shall be happy with interacting with you no problem okay yeah i will i will if i need any help i'll tell you yeah okay thank you so next i will talk about difference of two subsets of a and b just like we have learned our differences in uh, normal calculations so let me talk about yeah. differences so what is the difference of two sets Difference is denoted by a minus b, just like we in normal calculations we are doing a minus b. So and that is equal to x belongs to a and x does not belongs to b. Look at that, x belongs to a and x doesn't belongs to b. Right. Yeah. So let me yeah. give you uh, the Venn diagram first. Let me give you the Venn diagram. So what is your a minus b? Let me write once again a minus b is x such that x belongs to a mm -hmm. and x doesn't belongs to b okay. 
so let me draw the universal set first so this is your universal set and this is your a and this is your b okay yeah a yeah. and b so can you tell me which portion is your universal set uh, a minus b uh, a minus b a minus b will it only be a uh, without the one in the middle yes correct uh, you are this is your a minus b look at that mm -hmm. this is your a minus b this portion yeah. is your a minus b mm -hmm. and this portion is your b minus yeah. a yeah right ismail yes yes sir yeah so that is about the difference next i i will talk about complementation the complement of a subset a is a subset of the universal set s means the universal set you are talking about denoted yeah. by a c look at that there is a c yeah i see it, yeah and is denoted by defined by complementation a c such that x belongs to the universal set but x does not belongs to a oh okay i think i know this one i think yeah yeah so uh, okay one more thing we have to uh, calculate a minus b from this problem mm -hmm. can you tell oh, yeah. me what okay. is your a minus b yeah so my a minus b would be um it will be one yes one one three Seven, eight, yeah. seven and thirteen. Very good. Excellent. So your A minus B would be in the problem. Problem as well as pictorial. So you know you know that always remember a picture is worth a thousand words, even ten thousand words, even million words are speaking spoken. But a picture is most important thing. Because that will be in your mind, a picture. So that is why Venn diagram has been invented. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Because you will remember the picture only in your mind. You can't remember the words. Yeah. You can't, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So picture is very important thing. If you can't if you see the abstract, if you can develop your abstract thinking, that will develop your knowledge in mathematics actually. So I'm oh, writing. Yeah. I'm not writing these elements. You can write these elements by yourself. So you can write the elements of B minus A also. So I'm not writing those things. You can complete the sheet over there. So let me go to the complementation. The complement of a subset. Yeah. So let me. Uh, yeah. Let me show show you. Such that X belongs to the universal set but x does not belongs to a this is the definition so let me yeah. draw the venn diagram yeah. this is your so unit it will be it will be in, it will be set b and the whole set and the whole uh, square so i am writing set the a. a only can you tell me yes yeah you only oh yeah it will be the outside yes got it yeah excellent excellent my dear beautiful this is yeah. your complementary part actually it's from the definition complement okay complement, yeah so if you take a complement complement what will happen complement complement um uh, what will happen um the set a so, uh, so set a will be also included no, if you take the complement of complement, that's a it's set A itself. Um, I don't, uh, um, I don't know, sir. Uh, no, no, no. It will be you see your A oh. complement is the universal set. The rest of the part excluding yeah. A. So if you take the yeah. complement of this complement, that will be A only. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. 
Yeah. Have you understood? Yes. Yeah, I have understood. Yeah. Got it. Very good. So that was the operations. There are so many operations I was talking about. So this is your operations. Uh, union. Yeah. You have learned union, intersection, and uh, difference, complementation, etc. Yeah. Now there are some laws of algebra of sets laws there are some important laws yeah. actually those uh, look at that the first law is the idempotent law it is called a union a equal to a yeah. and a actually, intersection yeah. a is a and mm -hmm. union yeah. is a commutative law next one is commutative laws a union uh -huh. b equal to uh, uh, sorry a union b equal to b union a a intersection yeah. b equal to b intersection a and there are associative laws also a union b union c equal to a union b union c just see your brackets are changed you see the associative law yeah, yeah i see it yeah okay and yeah. you have distributive okay. laws uh, similarly for the intersection mm -hmm. also you see the distributive laws a union yeah. b intersection c equal to a union yeah. b intersection a union c and yeah. if you write it's a it's a it's a dual actually you replace the union and intersection in the first formula by intersection and union you will get the second one yeah Okay. This is the distributive I laws, see. and the most important one, the De Morgan's laws. De Morgan's laws. Yep. This is oh. the, this is the most important laws. So I will give oh, you, this. I will give with you the. It, it smile. Yes. Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. smile. Oh yeah, it, it's with prime, right? A. A union, union B prime. prime. Yes, that's the complement. We can denote A C or A prime. Yeah. Okay. These are the complement notations. You can use the complement C or A prime. In this case also, you can write A prime or A complement. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's. Uh, I will show you uh, some uh, one or two proofs. I will show you the distributive law how to prove this that is a very important mm, actually proving is sometimes build your knowledge why these things are happening why these things are happening why this equality holds how did you uh, get these results actually ah, that I will explain so let me show you the first distributive property okay where it is gone okay sorry after this I have to add okay let me write the distributive law first one I am writing the first one yeah. a union b intersection c equal to a union b intersection a union C that was the law look at that yeah I see it yeah so now I will prove it's that uh, okay yeah I will try to prove that with the help of those knowledge you have learned right now today yeah so let me write let me write let p equal to the left hand side and q equal to yeah this one So this is your Q. 
Okay. Yeah. Now, yeah. let let x be an arbitrary element of p. What I am supposing, mm -hmm. I am assuming that x is an arbitrary element of p. So that implies x belongs to this set. Is it clear, Ismail? Yeah. Okay. It is, yeah. Now, x belongs to a union this implies x belongs to a or x belongs to b intersection c. Am I clear? From the union, definition yeah. of union. Yeah. Have you understood? Yeah, I have understood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next, I can write x belongs to A or x belongs to B and x belongs to C inside the curly bracket. Did you follow that? I didn't, I didn't understand this part. Okay. What I am writing, is this steps clear? This one? Yeah, this one is clear. Yeah. The next one is, I am writing x belongs to a, it was there. Yeah. Or, yeah. but I am writing x belongs to b intersection c. That means in the intersection, x belongs to the intersection. What does it mean? X uh, belongs so to the intersection so means X belongs to B and X belongs to C. That means the common element. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay Go I got yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I am writing. So I will open the bracket and write X belongs to A or that means the next step is implied by the previous step. So, this one and x belongs to a or x belongs to c. Have you got that? Yes, I have got it. Yeah. Clear? Clear is mine? Yeah. yeah. What I am doing? I am just opening the bracket and I am just pairing up. Okay, yeah. I am just pairing those things. Yeah. The concept x belongs to A okay. or x belongs to B and x belongs to A or x belongs to C. Let me write in okay. a set, set notations. Yeah. Or will be union. Isn't it, Ismail? Yeah, or is union and, uh, and is uh, intersect. Right. Have you got this step, the last step? Yes. Yeah, it's just substituting or with... Yes, and, just uh, substituting uh, that. And. Right. Now, this one, yeah. let me replace and with intersection. Is it clear, Ismail? Yes, yeah, it's clear. So now this is your Q. This is your Q. Yeah. Yeah. This is your Q. So what you are assumed here? You are assumed X belongs to P and you prove that X belongs to Q. Wow. Yeah, I got it, yeah. So, P is a subset of Q? Yeah, P is a subset of Q. Yeah. According to the definition of subset? Yeah. So, yeah. So, similarly you can so you try this. Similarly, can you prove that Q is a subset of P? 
you have to assume one element y belongs to q and go through like this you will see q is a subset of p from 1 and 2 we can say p equal to q yeah because you can these are not uh, these are not system these are sets you cannot say these two sets are equal two sets are equal because already i gave you the idea of equal sets yeah so from that definition it. of that we can prove that p equal to q that means this law holds distributive law holds have you understood yeah. ismail yeah i understood okay any problem any problem in this proving no it's fine can you do the okay maybe, maybe, yeah, I sh maybe after the lesson i'll look at it more just to have a clear more clear more like a clear idea of it and then i should be all right yes 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 you go i will give you the relevant documents also i will yeah. send you okay. i will send you some uh, proofs for you also to make uh, to un make you understand Okay. If I if so I if I send the uh, picture in the uh, WhatsApp, can you find that? Yeah, yeah, a picture would be great on WhatsApp. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. I will send you, and maybe some PDF document. I will send you through via email. By email, okay, no problem. Yeah. So th you try at your home this part. Okay. With logic. Yeah. With logic, with just logic. Okay. I what I did here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let me show you yeah. another uh, concept that is called Venn diagram, uh, De Morgan's laws. I will show you the De Morgan's laws. One yeah. proof for De Morgan's laws. There are two laws of De Morgan's. So just check. You have A union B prime is equal to a prime intersection b prime yeah. so t morgan's law and there is another man was there that his name was bull george bull he george got a bull. george yeah. bull he got a beautiful uh, maybe your father know about knows about him because he was a logician he is here He's got a beautiful book on uh, mathematics and logic, 17th century. Oh, yeah. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So, we have to prove this. Sir, yes. I can't hear you. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Ismail, tell yeah. me. Okay. No, no, it's fine. I, I thought I couldn't hear you. I thought, yeah, it's, but it's fine. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, again, let us assume, let, so I am doing the proof here. Let A equal to, uh, sorry, A, not A, P equal to, right? Yeah. P equal to A union B prime, whole prime q equal to a prime intersection b prime and let yeah. x belongs to p implies x belongs to a union b whole prime oh, clear yeah. ok yeah now yeah. what do you mean if x belongs to a union b whole prime that means it belongs to the complementary part that means x does not belongs to that set mm. is it clear or not first you try to understand this step yes think it's a bit, uh, yeah 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 i get it yeah got it, I get it. because it's from the definition of yeah. the complement if it is if it is belongs to the complement if you draw the diagram yeah. once again uh, for your better understanding so look at that this is your a set 
and this portion is your complementary part yeah. so if some elements here x then it does not belongs to the a yeah. so that is the concept here clear is it yeah. Yeah. have you understood ismail yeah ok now x does not belongs to a union b implies x does not belongs to a mm. and x does not belongs to b because it happens to be in a or b any one of them it would be in the union oh i get it yeah isn't it that makes yeah. sense it may, yeah it makes sense yeah yeah it does so it doesn't belongs to union that means it doesn't belongs to a doesn't belongs to a b because yeah. okay. because any one of them if it contains a contained by any one of the sets then it's happened to be in the union yeah okay but yeah, it does not belongs it, yeah. to the union that implies x doesn't belongs to a and x doesn't belongs to b yeah clear clear yeah is it full clear or partially clear tell me uh Partially, but I, I'm getting there. Like I, I, I get the the general idea. Yeah. Okay, I, I, I'm just giving you the, uh, for your better understanding. Let me show you. Yeah, if I visualize it, it would be better. So this is your A. This is your B. Right. Yeah. So suppose yeah. one. One belongs to A. So yeah. one belongs to the union. I don't know what are the elements in B. Just I am talking about one single element in A. If it belongs to A, mm. that means one belongs to the union. B. Have you got that? What is the union B? Yeah. And B had so many elements, but I am talking about one, only one element. Only one element. If it is one belongs mm. to A, then it belongs to it should be belongs to union. Because in union you have to consider all the elements. In union you have to yeah. consider all the elements. Am I clear, Ismail? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it now. Yeah. Now, okay. if suppose uh, outside you have one uh, one element, suppose uh, three. So three does not belongs to the union. Yeah. Look at that from the diagram only. So that implies three doesn't belongs to A and three doesn't belongs to B. Got it now? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. Have you got that Ismail? Yeah. I got it, yeah. So what I have written here, just check. Please check. Okay. Okay, yeah. Got, it? got it? Okay, that's the yeah. thing. That's the thing. So if X does not belongs to A, can you tell me what would be the next step? If, I, if x doesn't belong to a and x doesn't belong to b then um it doesn't have any sets basically right it doesn't like, yes um, then x no, belongs to yeah. if x doesn't belongs to a then x belongs to b complement a prime oh, com oh complete, yeah can we write this oh yeah a prime yeah a prime right yeah. Yeah, and x belongs to complete uh, b prime, right? Right. Next step, guide me. Um, after that, um, I have no idea. Um, and 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 replace and. Oh wait! Oh yeah. So, 
uh, it will be yeah intersect x uh, yeah b prime yeah got it so what do you have yeah got it what was that q it's just once you understand the logic it will be you will play with these things mm -hmm. so p is a subset of q similarly you can okay. show in the reverse order q is a subset of p yeah. from these two you can say p equal to q so this is verified the de morgan's law okay. is it okay ismail yeah Sorry. it's all right yeah it's okay yeah so these laws are like that you can try at your home associated laws uh, distributive laws de morgan's law let me come to the last uh, topic today of our lecture because uh, time is running out and also a lot of interesting and lot of uh, logical things are there so you have to digest those things also right yeah 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 okay let me talk about last the cartesian product of sets cartesian product of sets okay uh, i have to uh, do the applications with that also and uh, in the next class i will tell you uh, uh, i will give you the details of some application of set and also relation and also mapping so what is the cartesian product of sets cartesian product of two non empty sets a and b denoted by a cross b look at that there is a symbol of a cross yeah and this is the first time you are getting order pair of elements just like in geometry you are uh, in graph paper you are drawing the x axis y axis and you are plotting the points on the graph yeah have you drawn the graphs in 9 10 graphs um plotting the graph right yes 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 yeah, yeah. so uh, let me show you a cross b is called the cartesian product and that is given by a comma b such that a belongs to a and b belongs to b so what uh, this is the first time you are getting order pair of elements in all other previous cases you have a single element look at that all other examples you got a single elements i'm just scrolling up you look at that you have a single element no order pair you got a single element yeah. you got a single element there is no pair no brackets parenthesis right but first time you are encountered with a parenthesis a comma b look at that you have a a comma b so yeah. this is called cartesian product let me give you more clear picture of that where the first element belongs to a and the second element belongs to b let me give you a more clear picture Can you see a set? Yeah. And can you see b sets? B set is x comma y. So what is your yeah. a cross b? A cross b is one comma x, one comma y, two comma x, two comma yeah. y, three yeah. comma okay, x. Okay, okay. 3 comma y mm -hmm. is it clear yeah let me give you more detailed picture this is your a set this is your b set now this is your 1 2 3 this is called ray diagram so you are connecting 1 with x connecting 1 with y connecting 2 with x 2 with y and connecting yeah. 3 with x 3 with y yeah that means cartesian yeah. product is that every element in a is connected to every element in b 
that is called the Cartesian product. Okay. Yeah. Okay, dear. Yeah. Ismail. So yeah. today I'll stop here. Five minutes I will discuss okay. with you. Tell me, do you have any question? You can tell me. Okay. No, let, I'm fine. I'm good. Uh, okay, let me stop the recording first.